The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first book of Kings. There, Elijah went into a cave and spent the entire night there. Then the word of Yahweh came to him, saying, What are you doing here, Elijah? Then he was told, Go out and stand on the mountain before Yahweh. For at that moment, Yahweh was going by. A mighty hurricane split the mountains and shattered the rocks before Yahweh. But Yahweh was not in the hurricane. And after the hurricane, an earthquake. But Yahweh was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, fire. But Yahweh was not in the fire. And after the fire, a light murmuring sound. And when Elijah heard this, he covered his face with his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then a voice came to him which said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I am full of jealous zeal for Yahweh, God Sabaoth, because the Israelites have abandoned your covenant, have torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I am the only one left, and now they want to kill me. Go, Yahweh said. Go back by the same way to the desert of Damascus. You must go and anoint Hazael as king of Aram. You must anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king of Israel, and anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mahola, as prophet to succeed you. And our response comes from Psalm 27. Yahweh, hear my voice as I cry. Pity me, answer me. Of you my heart has said, seek his face. Your face, Yahweh, I seek. Do not turn away from me. Do not thrust aside your servant in anger. Without you I am helpless. Never leave me, never forsake me, God my Savior. This I believe. I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, You have heard how it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say this to you, If a man looks at a woman lustfully, he's already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye should be your downfall, tear it out and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of yourself than to have your whole body thrown into hell. And if your right hand should be your downfall, cut it off and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of yourself than to have your whole body go to hell. It has also been said, anyone who divorces his wife must give her a writ of dismissal. But I say this to you, everyone who divorces his wife, except for the case of an illicit marriage, makes her an adulteress. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord.